Hi, so I'm out tonight. I'm at a cancer support group um, study meeting. I'm in a clinical study for cancer survivors and I'll do a video on that, but I found time tonight to kind of do a video and talk about what is lymphedema and how do you know you have it? What are the initial symptoms? So um, lymphedema is when your lymphatic system has been compromised. Your lymphatic system flushes toxins out of your body and it can be compromised by a variety of ways. Some people are born with lymphedema, that's primary lymphedema. Some people get it as a result of cancer treatment and that was my case, so I'm a secondary lymphedema patient. I've heard of studies of people that um, with breast cancer, if they have one lymph node removed even, um, they can get lymphedema in their arm um, for the side that they had a lymph node removed in their armpit. I had 28 removed out of my groins. I have lymphedema in both of my legs and my abdomen, um, pretty much up to my rib cage, so 80% of my body. I have to wear a compression garment from the ribs down to my feet. And how did I know I was gonna get it? Well, my doctors kind of gave me an idea of what the symptoms would be and the chance that I would um, experience it as a um, effect after my treatment. And I did, so it started for me with um, my, to my toes were going numb, my feet were getting really heavy. It felt like if I wasn't really overcompensating to lift my foot that I, that I would trip, that I would fall. Um, a lot of pins and needles feelings in your legs and then you're losing, losing the sensation of what it feels like to touch your skin and realizing that it's your own leg. It almost feels, I'm being told this anyway, that I'm um, kind of like a diabetic foot. Um, it's similar to symptoms with that. So I let my doctors know. It wasn't as obvious that I had swelling because I had it in both my legs at the same time. I didn't have one good leg to gauge, you know, what my leg should look like versus what a swollen leg looks like. So when you have it in both, that's definitely the downside. Um, I did physical therapy and I'll talk about what physical therapy does and the treatments. But when I started, I went down 12 inches in both of my thighs in just six weeks as far as fluid. And the biggest thing I noticed, um, TMI, but I started urinating more often. Um, the fluid was getting pushed into my kidneys and into my bladder. Um, if you're taking in a lot of water, I drink a lot of water during the day and you're not going to the bathroom. Um, unfortunately, if you have a lymphatic problem, it's staying. Um, in your limbs or in and around your cells and it's not flushing through your system. So that's something to really look out for. I would say the best way to describe the early symptoms of lymphedema for someone that isn't noticing swelling is heaviness, um, it's difficulty feeling your toes, wiggling your feet. Now I still have it, it's permanent, um, but I feel more like the pins and needles type of feeling if your leg was falling asleep and I have it immediately if I'm squatting, if I'm picking up my child, if I'm sitting in an awkward position, if I cross my legs, if I'm on my feet too long. Um, a lot of things that I used to do are really difficult. And um, when you're young and you have lymphedema, that is hard. So those are the early symptoms and signs that you have it. If you're feeling anything like that, you should definitely talk to your doctor about it. Um, if you haven't gone through cancer treatment and you feel those symptoms, lymphedema is definitely a disease that you could get from other causes. So you should definitely talk to your doctor about it. Thanks for watching.